What we're announcing today is the completion of a project that remediates more than two and a half miles of river and the restoration of some 25 acres of wetlands. What does that mean? It means two things. It means economic vitality. We've seen studies in other smaller areas of concern where for a $10 million effort, six times that amount will return to that community in, in investment because of that cleanup. And this is a much bigger, more complex site, so the returns are even better. We planted it from the sea. <laughs> and the other thing, too, is just it helps health. Step by step, we're making sure that the fish are going to be healthier to eat. And those are especially risky when it comes to children's health, the health of uh, women of childbearing years, and subsistence fishermen and anglers. Today, because of the effort to restore Roxana Marsh, you can see the Grand Cal working and fighting every day to come back to life. You see egrets, uh, snowy egrets, where they didn't exist before. You see uh, native species beginning to come back after we've kicked out the invasive species that push everything else away. These are the kinds of things, project by project, step by step, that will bring this river back to life and with it the communities as well. But there's a lot more work to be done here on the Grand Cal. There's a lot more work to be done in other places. Uh, around the Great Lakes and so we're using today as an opportunity to call on businesses and state and local government to also help with the non-federal match so we can unlock even more of these investments around the Great Lakes.